It's a pity you can't go on the water. Why, you ask? <laughs> and we did see a cassowary, which was good. So we can tick that one off. Stop it, Queensland. You're just putting it on for us. So we've come out to this place called Lucinda. Now the reason we've come out here is because it has the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere. Now this thing goes for 5.76 kilometers. Check this bad boy out. But unfortunately it's not open to the public because it's a working jetty and I think it's cane sugar or something like that. There's a sugar mill behind us anyway so yeah check this bad boy out. It's that big, there's a helicopter pad up the end there with a helicopter sitting on it. But behind us, in the hills, we have some wonderful weather coming our way. We've got rain for the next week. Hey there. <laughs> I'm kind of wishing we didn't book anything this morning because this looks like a good little spot. It's a great spot. Yeah. But anyway, we the have. Car driving along the and there's a helicopter up the end there. Oh, is that? Yeah. You can take the van on there. Yeah, take the van, <laughs> yeah. For a drive. Anyway, I'm going to try getting Ramon up anyway, even from a distance, and see how it looks. can't go in the water. Why you ask? <laughs> Crocs. And stingers. Crocs and stingers, yeah, so it's a bummer you can't go in because it looks really nice. Like, but you just told me to go in the water so you can get a good photo. Yeah, but I didn't know there was crocs and stingers. <laughs> you go in, no you go in, no no you. <laughs> I want the perfect photo. <laughs> Let's go check out the observation deck. I thought it would be taller. <coughs> I'm glad it's not because you've got to use the stairs, but I thought it's going to be a lot higher. I reckon you're right. We should have booked in here. Yeah. So, uh -huh. but the caravan park looked pretty full, so we might not have got in anyway, but. But we've just come here to this spot and there's another park. Mm. Another hotel, like, so it seems to be pretty big when it's. So if you like fishing and drinking, this is definitely the place to come. No swimming in the ocean. No swimming in the ocean, no, but check pools. this, check this out for a view. <laughs> web which was fine until I saw the spider running up the thing it was like a big big long black legs and what color he was black and he had yellow legs yellow. and red legs and yeah you should have got you should have went back and gone <laughs> scared me <laughs> now I don't want to go in there anymore not so brave now huh no I forgot where we are <laughs> Tully <laughs> <laughs> Tully yeah Queensland That's a big bloody spider. See if we can get him from this angle. Oh, 
I think we've just upset him because we've just broken his web. He's probably spent hours making that and we've just walked through it. Tick him off your bucket list. Tick. <laughs> going up the, the Tully Gorge Road and we've come across this. How incredible does this look? And we did see a cassowary, which was good. So we can tick that one off. Next thing we want to see is a croc, but from a distance. Butterfly walk. Yes, and on wiki camps, it says this is where the white water rafting tours are done. But that oh. would have been cool. Oh, that's where there's got two yeah. operators over there. Well, that was the butterfly walk. Hmm. Unfortunately, no butterflies. No, I don't think the temperature's right. Yeah, it's pretty cold at the moment, and we have got rain, so oh, maybe it had goodness. something to do with it. Who knows? Maybe next time. So I guess they're the ones doing the adventure. The white water rafting. Wild side. But then you've got a question if you're going to do white water rafting in a river that says, warning, no swimming, crocodiles. Yeah, I don't know if this is the river I want to be doing it in. Another Ulysses butterfly, I think is how you say it, but he's sleeping on the rock. He's not flying. He's probably not feeling too well, he's probably hung over. Yeah. But that's what they look like. And they're absolutely beautiful when they're flying. This is bloody good, isn't it? It's fantastic. I don't even care that you can't go in, to be honest. Stop it, Queensland. You're just Stop putting it on it. for us. <laughs> Why would they do that? They'll get wet. I don't know. Alright. I am being silly. So silly. You just have to put up with her for about 20 minutes. Per week. I've got a full time. Yes. Lucky me. Lucky you uh... are. This is the Cardstone Weir Lookout and that turn off back there might have been Champagne Falls. Which, you know, I don't think you pick it up on the GoPro. Yeah. But it's still... Just above this tree here, there's a like, little waterfall just there. I would not sit on that if I was you. I would. Yeah, okay, go for it. I was impressed in the last place, but this tops it. Absolutely tops it. This is incredible. The roar is insane. I love it. Come on, stick whacker. This is actually my spider web 
penetrator. Penetrator. Yep, a penetrator. Nice choice of words. <laughs> Very descriptive. <laughs> Oh, you can see yeah. it through there. So oh, it just cool. it just saves yeah. us from uh, walking head first into them, that's all. Yeah, well, I don't like feeling No. It. And, after and there are big spiders here. Well after yesterday and I saw the actual massive spider that freaked me right out. That was too much. Too much Queensland in one day. <laughs> so we've come to the end of the Tully Gorge Road and Right at the end is a power station. Now, we're just going to go for a walk down there. I don't think you can get through. There are some walks over this way, but they've blocked all them off as well, so I don't, I'd have got no idea what's going on. So, but we're up in the clouds. You can't really see, can you? Now that we're up here, it doesn't look that bad. We're at Pullman with a K Creek. And we're at Champagne Falls, and I don't have champagne. I don't have champagne for Champagne Falls. So hey, that would look good. It looks like it'd be pouring into glass. If I have my cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get something. Doing a Barney. <laughs> Finally got to Paranella Park. Um, didn't bring the van up. Weren't sure about mm. accessibility, etc. Yeah, it looked like on Wiki Camps it was up in the hills, but where we stayed, <coughs> it's um, you can quite easily easy. bring yeah easily bring your van up here. It is windy, but it's all flat windy, so there's nothing to really worry about there. So yeah. Which is good. So Paranella Park was built in the 1930s, I think. We're going to go find out more information um, by a immigrant, Spanish immigrant. Um, and anyhow, it's like a little castle and filled old ruins and waterfall and creek, Mina Creek and all the rest of it. So we're going to go check it out. All right, let's do it. This is next level. <laughs> There's no other way to describe it. We are on the next level. Mm -hmm. Technically, yes. <laughs> so oh, we're on. <laughs> $57 per person. That gives you unlimited entries for the next two years. So if you've got a caravan or something like that, you can come back. And it's free for one night with power and water, which is pretty good. So that's all included in your price. And I think we'll probably come back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Take well, advantage not, of that. We're not too far, and we're heading off. Correct. So get a free sort of night's accommodation, and come back here, and we'll probably check this out tomorrow night. I reckon for the night show. Yeah, definitely. That should be pretty good. Absolutely. Looking forward to that. But yeah, this place is. How? Yeah, I don't even know how to describe it, but it looks amazing. It's like from the movies when they do the old British Indian. Yeah. Um, what do you call them? Like, not settlements, but yeah. Yeah. Africa, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm making stuff up now. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> it's like the movies. <laughs>
All right, so we're back at Penella Park. Uh, this time we've, put, uh, we've brought the van with us and we're staying at the Manor Creek Hotel, which is the overflow section of the park, really. Now, we're not complaining because we've got one of the last sites and it is by far the biggest site in the park. And remember, we've only got a little 16 foot van, so happy <laughs> days. Get another van. Yeah, you can definitely Two get another van. van in behind us, no doubt. But it's not, it's just a drive through site just for us. Perfect. Now, the amenities blocks, I'm going to say this is the biggest amenities block I have ever seen. You could play football in there. It is brand new by the looks of it, and it is, what I like to say, next level. But, right. So I was going to say, it's like the, the free camp at the pub. So, so it's free, but you had to buy two tickets. Yeah, that is so, true. But we're here for the night tour. So we got yeah. yesterday we did the day tour, which included a tour. We've yeah. got the night tonight, and we've got one night's accommodation behind the hotel yeah. for the caravan. So it was $57, I think it is, each, so $114. So all that included, it's pretty good value. It's pretty good. But the thing I'm most excited about is, Peg, you get to walk across that I bridge again. About it. Okay, Watch this, I'm it is, is like a like cat on a hot tin roof. Watch it go. Wrong with me. <laughs> You're walking like you've been on the turps. Another beautiful day in sunny Queensland. So you can tell we're just up the road from Pecans because it's with rain. And it's forecast to do this for the next week at least. So we should be seeing in the next three days about 50 mils of rain, which is quite a bit. It's a bit concerning considering I've done the silicon. Um, not too confident in my handiwork to be honest. But we're about to find out. So it looks like we're in for a bit of a raining night again tonight. Last night we got flogged, absolutely flogged with rain here. But the good news is the van did stay dry. So <clears throat> the silicon that I put on worked at the moment. So we haven't told you about this place. Uh, um, we arrived three days ago. It's done nothing but rain since we got here. Now we managed to get Ramon up for the first five minutes and then it's just rained all the time. So we are at a place called the Garadunga Hotel. We're camped at the back for $20 a night. Uh, that includes power, but no water. But there are showers and toilets and all that upstairs that you can use. Now, today we're heading to Cairns for the next 13 days and guess what the forecast is? Rain, 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 rain for 13 days. We, we can't get away from it. I don't know what to do. We can't get away from it, so. Anyway, this is a great location. They say everything in Queensland tries to kill you. That's another example of one. 